know you're in there, you crazy bitch. Where's my sister? Open the fucking door, I know you're in there. Goddamn motherfucker gonna steal her, kidnap her. Open the door. Madeline, I know you're in there. Open the fucking door. If you don't come out, I'm about to come in there and you're really not gonna like me, Madeline. Open the door. Put your hands up now. Look, man, I, you, you, I don't, I don't think you understand what's going on right now. Hands up, or you're gonna get tased. <sighs> on your knees. <laughs> let, let me, let me explain what's going on, man. You explain when I give you permission to. Let me explain, man. It's it's not it's not what it looks like. It looks like you. I woke up to you trying to tell someone to please let them in your, the for you to the let for them to please let you in the house. Uh, yeah, cause that crazy bitch kidnapped my sister. Say that again. The crazy bitch in there kidnapped my sister. She's gonna pay for that. Who's your sister? Her name's Lily. Who's your sister? Your Lily's sister? Brother, but close enough. I mean, brother. Yes, it's early in the morning. Um, Smith. Hmm? This is Lily's brother. Yeah, the crazy bitch inside that house kidnapped her. Why haven't you arrested her yet? Well, uh, you see, the reason us two units responded out so quickly is uh, we're the head investigators for uh, your sister's missing person's case. And uh, so when we had someone appearing at her house banging on the door, we weren't in sure, And that's why I had to handle you with such aggressing kids. For all I knew, you are her kidnapper returning to the scene. Yeah, far from it. Yeah. Well, oh. I think we get a statement here to begin. I don't have anything on me, man. The gun is registered to me. That's my car. I've done nothing wrong except maybe violate a noise ordinance. Sure, if I go and check your car at all. Go ahead. There's nothing in there. It's the only car I have left, Here, considering you that unload this guy for me real quick? crazy bitch also stole yeah. my other car. Here you go. Okay. Do you just, like, lay it on your hood of your truck or something? He's not going to find anything in there. He's wasting his time at this point. Time that you could be using to get my sister away from this crazy fucking bitch. Okay. I really want to get some information from you. So if I let you go, will you sit in front of my truck here and behave yourself? I'm not going anywhere. You have my ID. What am I going to do? Go home so you can arrest me there? Front of my truck. Alright, so you're Lily's brother. Um, 
Are you the older brother or the younger brother or is that? I, uh, I'm older. All right. Um, so her wife told me that C, uh, works at a real estate company, uh, and goes and travels a lot. Can you verify this or do you know? Yeah. Uh, last I checked, she worked for, what was it, Dynasty 8 Realtor? Yep, that's what, uh, that's what Miss Madeline, uh, told us. Uh, when's the last time you've heard from your sister? Heard from her or saw her? Let's start with just heard from her first. I don't know what is today, Wednesday, um, six, seven days ago. I mean, it's we don't talk all that often. Work gets in the way of that. Understand that. When's the last time you last physically saw her? Last week. Sunday, I think uh, we went out to to lunch. Okay, so if I'm getting this straight, you've seen her more recently than you've actually talked to her on the phone. The last time you saw her was in person, more than just a phone call. Uh. Oh, last time. Yeah. You, last time you. First time she spoke to you was in person, not on the phone. Yeah. Okay, everything with the car checks out. I'm just gonna run the plate just to be extra sure. Yep. Okay, so I see your last name is Rose. Would that be her uh, maiden name if she wasn't married? Yeah. She, she, she okay. married into the Watson family. Biggest mistake of her life. Yeah. Hey, Smith. Yeah. Bump that, bump that uh, bolo for Lily Watson up to a, uh, add in a Lily Rose as well. That's her maiden name. Let's get that new uh, maiden name updated ASAP. See if there's any uh, any body with the name of Lily Rose getting checked into a hospital or any sign of her anywhere. Okay. All right. So, uh, all right. I know you're ready to feel this, eager to feel this, but what's your beef with Madeline, and why do you what? What what's your side of the story on that? My beef with her? She is an obsessive fucking weirdo who is possessive over my sister and would kill over my sister and yeah, my sister doesn't deserve to be to be in any sort of relationship with a crazy crazy psycho like that. And what, like, okay, can you give me any, like, times he's been possessive, like, like, still in her phone, not letting her communicate, like, anything that would be odd? She, uh, she, she gets into these moods, and she, she won't let her come out of the house, which is why I'm here right now, figured that's what was going on, considering that, you know, she wouldn't answer my calls or my texts. And, well, nobody answered the door when I came. Uh, occasionally, she takes her phone. She's very, very cautious with that. Being a security officer, she thinks that she knows all the laws, and I can assure you that she doesn't.
And I don't know if I can completely tell you this, but um, we had we when we first got their missing persons report, we did come and search their personal belongings in the house for any evidence of uh, for the kidnapping or trip. Yeah, missing persons, not even kidnapping, trespassing. Uh, not well. I need more coffee. Um, missing person report. And so we didn't see any sign of Lily here at the property. Uh, last time Madeline said she saw her was her heading to work the morning she went missing. She was getting ready to go to work and Lily went to, went to work and that was it. Now, the odd thing is, and I did want to ask you this, you, I'm sorry if you noticed her niece, Sean Titan, is still sitting in the driveway. Madeline mentioned that Lily often rode with a guy to work. I called the real estate company, and the real estate company said she never comes to work with a guy. Do you know anything about her riding with a guy and a, a receiving me look back in my notes? It was going to be, I believe, a guy with a. Let me see. Do, do, do. A uh, male, a uh, white male with shorter hair, black jacket with an eagle on the front of the back of it. You know what he drives? Nope, just her description. Madeline said she's never met the person before, but seen Lily go to work with them before, even though the state company has never heard of someone matching that description arriving to work with Lily. guy a couple times. Uh, you said you've been that guy, you know no, the guy. No, I've 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 met him. He uh Josh Joshua Josh. Uh the last name is is uh Oh it's on the tip of my tongue. Hudson. Hudson, I know the last name's Hudson. Uh, Josh Joshua He, uh, he's what did you say up, that last name uh, was? Josh Hudson? Uh, Hudson. He, he walks a, a pretty fine line with me as well. He, uh, You're right. Josh or Josh H Joshua or Josh? It's one of the two. I, I don't remember. All right. We said that. But please narrow it down. Josh Joshua Hudson. I mean, it's Blaine County. How many Hudsons can it be? Um... At least that gives us a name to run back with the real estate company. Um, do you know what he does for a living or where he works or how he knows Lily or? Oh, I know how he knows her. Do tell. Yeah, well, last I checked, she, uh, he is trying to go out with Lily? I'm not entirely sure what his intentions are, but I can tell you he's a he's a, a worthless piece of shit, and if I ever get my hands on him, it's not gonna be pretty. Alright, do you have any reason, would you have any reason, suspicion or reason to believe that he would be Yes, he's gone up. Um, mm, mm, mm. Um, what are this is? I can go with a jacket. The cold, dead body. It's the uh, guy that um, was picking up Lily. They have a pistol. In there. Oh, 
I think we need to track down Mr. Matthew again. I, I was, yeah, okay. <laughs> Secondary bolo out. There's a lot in that. Indeed. Alrighty, so I try to stay in character as much as I can for this series. Unfortunately, this is just one of those situations that I'm not going to be able to do so. It's hard to stay in character as, as a dead person without leaving you guys in some really awkward silence so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna basically give you the rundown make sure I provide them with the correct name um, as you can see this is Josh Hudson as you can also see he's he is very dead they've received the information of there's a black BMW pulled into a, the car lot Josh here was scoping oh out cars to boy. break into. I never shot this fucker. Um, saw the BMW. Mm, and it's gonna be a Josh running. Hudson. It's gonna be our guy that we've been the mysterious fellow with the black jacket. He uh comes down the alleyway. Someone chases him. Yeah, really that person really, really takes weird. off. Josh. Ooh, look at that head run. That's leave. yeah. That that's Obviously, gonna make a mark. He's uh, he's still dead here. There's a newspaper. Very right of me that has an identical face. <laughs> I don't know if that's coincidence, but <laughs> that is uh, fitting. But add a little. Get to add another, another plot twist into this story here. I'm letting them run with this. If they ask any questions, I'm giving them the information. Um, we'll see what they get out of this. Checks GSW execution point blank. GSW wound shows that Josh was walking towards his assailant. The shot was fired. show he was approximately uh, about four feet away when shot was fired and he is checking the trash there so nothing inside the trash except Alright. Smith, do you remember anything from uh, gunshot residue and uh, bullet impact based on distance? Uh, I don't know too much about that, although the only thing I do know that I know I want to do now is to find Mr. Matthews and test him to see if he has any gunshot. Indeed. Well, I do, and it looks like he, this guy was uh, definitely shot close range, probably about, I don't know, four to six feet. A uh, few burn marks from the uh, flash of the fire, but of the gun, but not too much, so it wasn't point blank. But uh, definitely, uh, looks like he got some uh, of the fl muzzle flash on him. Weirdly enough, would this be probably about the distance where this X is? Um. Oh, hey, there's an X on the ground. Probably, probably right near those block. Probably a little back right at those blocks, maybe, but possibly. I didn't even notice the X. Seen for sure. Noticing things I didn't even see. Well, yeah, I'm not going to get some help over the county. 
I'm checking for the self a cell phone that found that are kinda uh, got my head straight after finding out it's Josh. Hmm. Let's well, let me see if there's a cell phone or anything. Approximately two feet away from the body, towards the building, he was holding a crowbar when all of this took place, because he was indeed attempting to break into some cars. Is a long two feet. Any blood on the crowbar? So the blood on the crowbar is consistent with blood splatter. Got a crowbar here. It was not uh, used looks like in it's be, uh... It was not. Looks okay. like we're just gonna have some uh, splatter from the gun shot wound, uh, nothing more. Yeah, there's, there's not gonna really be anything on it, except his fingerprints and then the blood splatter from, you know, getting shot in the head. That'll do that sometimes. Alright, I'm gonna take this crowbar in because, uh, kind of an odd place for a crowbar, even for the county, so, uh, and it's got the blood on it, so it gives us some a blood sample too, in case we need it. <sighs> I don't think there's any much here other than the damn fly. Those flies have been driving me nuts. Yeah. There's just something not making sense. There's a lot not making sense, Smith. Indeed, I think we need to get back to the States and then, uh, get this curveball test for any DNA. I doubt it's connected, but shits and giggles, right? Okay, we're apparently getting a close-up of their face, so they are going to call the corner. Josh Hudson is... D-O-A. Um, there wasn't too much of a storyline here with him other than uh, basically just to add a loop in the story and to to throw them off. <laughs> and poof. So we have, to, we have to have two because And the Lord falls upon you. Yeah magic, but he was nothing more than pretty much a diversion. He he does play an important part, so I won't say that, but I just wanted to throw another loop at him. Hopefully this will be my last time doing an episode like this. Ooh, that's a, that's nasty, dude. I don't want to look at your head. Um, hopefully that'll be the this will be the, the the first and the only episode where I do a kind of a talk over. I want to leave you guys in awkward silence, though. So you can hear the clicking of my keyboard. That'd be weird. So next episode, I promise I'll uh, I'll stay in character. <laughs>